Hey there. Good morning. How are Jay. you? I'm great. How are you today? I'm doing well. This is really awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to uh, hang out with us for a little bit. So typically what we do here is uh, what we're what we're doing here right now is we typically would interview Marianne uh, about her experience with us. But Marianne decided to bring you here today. And I think this is really awesome yes. because I have <laughs> some questions for you specifically, Diana. So my first question for you is, is what was your first thought when you ran across our ad? And what made you click on it in the first place uh, to get a free home valuation? Well, in the few weeks prior to looking at the Facebook ad, uh, I had gotten cards in the mail from Open Door and Mark Spain and people that are going to come in and buy my house and do it really easily. And they were giving me prices sight unseen that I know of, unless they rode by and looked at the house. I don't know how they normally do that. And I thought, I would like to talk to a real person. I don't want to talk to a company that's going to buy it and resell it. I want to talk to a real person. That's the first thought I had. And that's why I clicked on this one. When you did decide to click on it, what was your thought after you put your information in? How soon did you expect to even talk to someone? Were you even expecting to talk to a real person? Or was there a part of you that was like, oh, I don't know, this could still be, this could still not be a real person on the end? Now, I expected to talk to a real person. That was part of my reasoning behind it. Uh, and I didn't know whether it would be that day, the next day, or sometime during the week. I don't remember how quickly I called you. You called me the next day. The next day. The very next day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, that's right. And you were watching football. I was watching the football. Well, was that's it right. the Super Bowl? It might have. Did I call you on Super Bowl Sunday? I, it, <laughs> was it football or something? I, I don't know what I was watching. Something. Yeah. So what, what was your experience like when Marianne called you? What did you think about your experience with Marianne the first time? I was very comfortable talking with her. She made me feel very comfortable with, with the way she called me. She never pressured me to answer any question that she asked me. She said, if you feel comfortable saying this, and I did feel comfortable. Um, Besides, I have a really dear friend with the name Marianne also, <laughs> which made a difference. It really made a difference. It's a good old-fashioned name. <laughs> it's my sales secret, Jake. Yeah. I was going to say, so step one for us is get all realtors that are named Marianne, just so we can get more, <laughs> right? Since you met Marianne, what has your experience been like in the selling process? How have you, in, how have you liked that so far? Has it gone how you expected? I didn't know what to expect. It's been 35 years since I moved anywhere. So I really didn't know what to expect, but I have been very comfortable. Marianne has given me a lot of things to think about. She's given me a lot of help with what I needed to do, how I needed to do it, how I needed to handle people coming house, this kind of thing. Even uh, offered to me, uh, finding a rental place that I would have somewhere to go if the house sold immediately and, and sent me those notices every two or three days. And matter of fact, I'm still getting one. Or, do you want me to stop them now <laughs> since you, you found want, a place? Yeah, yeah, to, that's yeah. fine. But she has been so very helpful. And that, I don't know, even after talking for the first time, that's what I, I really have enjoyed about knowing Marianne. And if, if there were any recommendation for anybody, it would certainly be for her to, if you're going to sell your house, she Aww. needs to sell it for you. So okay. nice. What would you say, Diane, is your, is your favorite part of this experience? I, I don't know. Um, be honest. It's the money you're going to make from that sale. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I hadn't thought of it we, that way. We did pretty well. Yeah, we did. We can't say how much, but we did well. I, uh, I really was expecting because of the house situation. And I mean, I'm an old lady. I'm 70, 78 years old. I don't expect to live to be 100. So I'm looking at how am I going to finance the rest of my life, whether it's 10 years or 20 years or whatever that is. And the money from the sale will certainly help me do that if I invest it properly. So Since, since, since you clicked on that ad, would you recommend other people who are looking to sell their home to click on that same ad and get help like like you did absolutely absolutely no hesitation at all <laughs> none none whatsoever wow. 
Is there anything about the advertising that you liked or is there, was there something about it that made you click on it? Or is it just the fact that you knew that at the end of it, you were going to get some assistance in finding out how much your home was worth? I was just looking for, for someone to, to actually talk to that could give me a figure that was realistic in my mind that I thought, I mean, I know what other houses in this neighborhood have sold for, and I was hoping this would probably equal that or be close to that. And I was looking for somebody that could give me a price that I could live with if I sold the house. If you had to rate your experience on a scale from one to 10, Diana, what would you rate it? 10. Yay! So Marianne, I'm, I'm actually going to pivot to you a little bit here. Um, okay. Can you tell us a little bit about your story and a little bit about like kind of what you've been doing before you started working with us? I got into real estate seven years ago after being in corporate America my most of my life and in sales most of my life. Um, best thing that ever happened to me was getting fired from corporate America because entrepreneurship was the right path for me. I did really well my first year. Everything that Keller Williams told me to go out and do, I did it. I did it. I worked hard. I put other things over here and worked on real estate and really focused. Uh, and each year got a little better, a little better, and a little better. Um, and I, I think my business probably peaked in 2021. And I thought from there, where do I go? Do I build a big team or do I stay a small? I really like being just a solo agent. Um, but with the changing marketplace and everything else, you know, you always have to be lead generating and, um, estate AI had been talking with me about coming on board and advertising with them for quite a while. And I finally decided to do it, mm -hmm. uh, reluctantly because I was <laughs> skeptical because a, a few years ago, I did try to run some Facebook ads along with a mortgage partner that I was partnering with. And he had someone designing the ads and he and I were splitting the cost of them. And honestly, the leads were not very good uh, and they were all buyer leads and none of them ever materialized into anything. It seemed like really a waste of time and money. So I was reluctant to do this. But I guess for me, uh, the fact that you guys were going to target people that were selling, not buying, was very appealing to me. So I decided to give it a try. And um, yeah, I mean, I think I, I'd only been advertising for two weeks when Diana's mm -hmm. uh, little name popped up on the little screen. And uh, I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to call. I don't know what else to do, but call and just have a conversation person to person. And that was good. And that was what I did. And yeah. Diana, can you talk about that first conversation that you guys had a little bit? How did that go? Marion called, introduced herself. And of course I did the same thing. And I think all we really talked about was I was looking for uh, somebody to help me with selling my house. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, just I asked you a lot of questions about the house. I think, yeah. um, you how, know, how big it was, right. You know, how, you know, how much land there was, the size of the house, how many bedrooms, all that stuff, just those information questions, but it was a very comfortable conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think, you only have what one time to make a first impression that's right kind of thing <laughs> and her first impression she was very genuine mm. I felt very very comfortable talking to Marianne I know you said you were a little reluctant Marianne and maybe and I know uh Diana it sounded like you weren't very reluctant at all to put your uh your information into the ad so I think that just shows the power of, of what we can do um, but Marianne, I know you said you were a little a little reluctant and I know you had some negative results before. So when you finally decided to take the jump and you got that first interaction, what did you think about it then? I was kind of blown away, honestly. I was like, oh my gosh, it really works. There are real <laughs> people that are, you know, genuine, genuinely looking for help um, that aren't just, you know, thinking that. I, they're going to put their name and contact information in and it's going to spit out a number, which is the value of their home. And okay, I answered that question. I'm going to go on my merry day. It was actually a real person that really wanted help and really wanted to sell their home. So um, that was exciting for me. And what were you relying on before? Was it just strictly sphere of influence or were you doing other marketing in the, in, in the, before this? Yeah. So 
like I said, when I started in real estate seven years ago, I mean, I tried everything. I worked open houses almost every weekend. I met a lot of people that way. I was just trying to find the people that, you know, were sincere and really motivated to buy or sell a home. Um, there are a lot of tire kickers out there. People will shop for homes just for the fun of it. And um, Sometimes people just want to know the value of their house and not really serious about selling. So um, my sphere has grown over the years, which is great. I've got, I get more referrals now, obviously, than I did in the beginning because a lot of people know who I am. They've used me and they recommend me. Um, but you still always want to be meeting new people because a lot of times you're helping people move away <laughs> and they're never going to need you again and they're right. moving to another state. And so you've got to always be replenishing your supply of people that you know. How does working with us and how does this system, especially the state AI system, compare to uh, other marketing agencies that you've been using in the past with your other broker, et cetera? So only paid advertising I've ever done are Zillow and Facebook ads. And those were for buyers both times of, up until you guys. And um, again, I just think buyers is a, is a much harder uh, avenue. Especially Obviously, every, every agent wants a listing more so than a buyer. But so now that you guys are getting close, are you guys get getting pretty close to the closing table here? Yeah, we close at the end of the month. Cool. And so, you know, given this whole, how long has this process been since, you know, you guys first spoke? Did, was it February? I think it was February. Yeah. That we first talked on the phone and then we listed sometime in April. Yeah. Yeah. Because you had said May would be a really good month to to sell the house right and I said let's go ahead and at least put out there just a yeah coming soon kind of thing right and we did that the week before and I mean I had neighbors coming to look at the house the week before before any real estate people were here mm -hmm. and yeah. then that weekend when it went on the market uh, went online everybody was here I mean, that day long, my neighbors even said there were cars lining up on the street waiting for their turn to come in to look at the house. Wow. So it was, you know, back to back showings all day long for two days. Wow. But you guys have been cultivating, and I kind of what I wanted to touch base on is like you guys have been cultivating this relationship for a few months now, right? And so I'm sure you guys have gotten to get to know each other a little bit better. Um, so what would you say, uh, Diana, to other people who might see these advertising floating around there? Would you recommend, what would you recommend them to do if they were interested in selling their home or needed some help? I would probably give them Marianne's name. <laughs> there, you, there you go. <laughs> and then, and then, and then I would probably tell them where I found her name to right. begin with, which would be you guys, of course, but uh, either, either way, it's been right. successful. Right. And so going forward, what is what is your number one thing that you're looking forward to in this new chapter for you, Diana? Just a smaller place to take care of. I'm tired of mowing the yard and cutting <laughs> the shrubbery and sweeping out the carport. I'm just I'm tired of that. I'm tired of housekeeping. So this this smaller place is about 1300 square feet, which is a whole lot less than what I have now and a lot lot less to take care of. No, no yard work. Of course, I love gardening, but I can do that on my patio in a container. So you found the perfect spot to go to, too, like all that squared away, too, right? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Well, Marianne, for you, too, um, I'm just curious. I know, you know, we kind of talked a little bit about your hesitancy to join in the first place, your experience with, you know, running ads before. Um, what would you say now? What would you say to what would you say to your old self before, you know, about your experience that you've had with Diana and maybe a few other people? I think you've been on a couple other appointments since too, right? Sometimes I'm mean to myself. So what I'd probably say is stop being such a know-it-all, Marianne. You don't know everything. Try new things. Get outside your comfort zone. And just because something went one way in the past uh, doesn't mean it's going to go that way in the future. And that's analogous to life, not just real estate or trying advertising. But just because something happened one way in the past does not predict the future. So try new things. How many, how many appointments and how many, how many listings have you gotten with us so far? 
just the one listing so far, but I have gone on a couple of other listing appointments and I've got some good things in the pipeline. So people that aren't ready to sell just yet, um, but I have gone on several uh, in-person appointments, which is great. So just making that connection and when their timing is right, hopefully I'll get to do this again. You know, just in the general real estate cycle and Diana, I don't know if you're, you're privy to this, but basically it takes a, on average, it's about 90 days from when a realtor meets a client before they actually list. So you guys are right within right. that window. And I think it's just important for people who are listening to this um, in the future, know that it does take time to actually get to the you know, the end table. I think this actually went faster than normal because yeah. we, we yeah. spoke on the phone in February. I came in person in March and we had her listed in April. That's actually, for me, that's yeah. an expedited timeline. Yeah. Yeah, Typically I mean, it's more like three or four months before they call you back and say, right. I'm ready to talk to you now. Marianne, for realtors who are thinking about joining our program, but may have been on the fence like you, what would you say to them? I would say um, definitely just give it a try, but also put in the work. So do, you know, do the phone calls, do the follow up. You know, it, 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 it doesn't just work because you paid the money. It works because you paid the money and then you did the follow up. Right. I think sometimes realtors see leads as dollar signs and not people. And they forget that people have lives and they are going through other things. And if they don't answer the phone right away, it's because they have those lives that we're talking about. Right. It's up to you to follow up. It's up to you right. to get in front of these people. And if you're not getting in front of them, it's probably on you. <laughs> it's probably not them. It's probably because you're not doing the things that you need to be doing in order to get in front of people like Diana here. So Diana, for you, I know you said you would... Yeah. Uh, refer if you ever talk to anyone about real estate you'd be referring them to to Mary Ann um but if you had a friend and they saw that advertising come up and they're thinking about selling their home what would you tell them to do if they saw well I went to the ad so I would say do the same thing I did and they hopefully that ad would give them a person just like Mary Ann yeah awesome if not her someone like her that would do the work do the do what needs to be done to make a successful sale. And so um, that being said, guys, thank you so much. That's really kind of all I have for you guys today. Uh, Diana, very, very nice to meet you. And Marianne, thank you. To meet you again. Thank you. It was very um, nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Have a great day. Take care. Bye. Bye.